Contention. What does that word mean? Why why did I come up here and say contention? When someone hates you, they will throw things at you, whether it be verbal or physical. They could throw insults at you. They could throw a punch at you. They could do anything out of anger. Or out of contention. So, when we say contention, we're saying we mean to do something out of anger. So, it could happen anywhere. It could happen at work. It could happen in school. It can happen online. It can happen anywhere. Where people don't like someone and they contention them. They show contention. They show threat towards that person. But I ask you to not show contention. Jesus once told all his disciples to love each other. Love your neighbours, love your enemies, even when they do you harm, when they do you wrong. Show love to them. Because that's all he wants us to do. He wants us to love each other. And that is how we become a true follower of Christ. By showing that we care for one another. And that's all we want to do for each other, is care. So, if you have ever had contention against someone, I implore you, tuck that away. Any weapons of hatred, whether verbal or physical, I implore you, you hide that away. You tuck it away forever. And help people. Show... That you will not show contention. Show that you will not go to wrath. Which is something that Satan himself would want you to do. Show no anger. But show loveness. Show people that we need to love one another. And the sooner we do that. The happier we'll all be. So, my message to you is, if you have any ang if you have any of this, any contention to anyone, tuck it away. Just tuck it away. And Jesus will help you.